good day everyone in today's video i'm going to show you how to create an effective roof drainage system on autodex revit so if you have not done so make this the video you subscribe also hit the like button and hit the notification bell to get notified when we release new content like this so without wasting any more time let's jump into the main content of this video all right so the first thing we're going to do to create this roof gutter is we're going to locate where we want to create it so in the case of this video we want to create a roof gutter along this roof axis here so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to this architecture tab we're going to go under roof under roof we're just going to click this drop down icon then we're going to click on roof gutter then what we are simply going to do is we're going to edit the roof gutter type and we're going to just use this basic profile and we're just going to assign a material so it's always good to assign materials in whatever you're doing in Revit for future references. So we're just going to look for metal, any metallic material, and we're just going to assign this one. Then we're going to click OK and click OK. So what we're simply going to do is we're just going to click the edge of this roof and the gutter will appear. So the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to use extrusion. We're going to go to component, model in place. We're going to go to casework. We're going to go to casework and click OK. So what we're simply going to do is we're going to use this extrusion here and we're going to set plane and we're just going to use it to cover the open end of this pipe of this gutter. So we're just going to pick plane and we're going to pick this edge here. So now we've picked this edge, we're just going to rotate it to an appropriate view and we're just going to zoom into it. So once we zoom into it, we're just going to follow this pattern and draw this profile. So once we draw this, we're just going to make sure it fits in very well and we're just going to draw this. And now we are going to go under this extrusion parameter and we're going to change this end to minus 10 or minus 5. Then we're just going to change it to the same metallic material which i think is this one let me type metal again to access it okay so this is the material we used earlier and we're going to click ok and we're going to click good so we're just going to do this and we're going to, going to copy this extrusion we've created to this other end so we're just going to use this copy tool and we're going to select this end and we're going to uncheck this constraint and we're just going to copy it and paste it at this other end okay so we're just going to click finish so now we've successfully created our gutter so now we want to create a pipe because as we have created this gutter now we want to create a pipe that could drain it to this ground level so it could drain it out so what we're going to do is we're simply going to go to the ground floor plan under this ground floor plan we're going to draw a reference plane we're going to just type rp on our keyboard uh, for the shortcut for reference plane so once you type rp we should be able to draw it then we are just going to draw the reference plane and I'm going to just click inside this reference plane and I'm going to name it pipe. Alright, so now we've successfully created a reference plane. We are now going to go to architecture tab here and we are going to go to set. So under this set, we are going to click on set work plane. So under this set work plane, we are going to select the level or select the work plane where we want to set. So once we click on this drop down icon over here, we are going to see options and that reference plane we created will appear here. So we are just going to select it and click OK. Then we are going to go to this East Architectural View. It's going to give us the option to go to this Elevation View. We are going to click on Open View. So now this our work plane is visible. We are now going to see the side view of the gutter we previously created. Then we are going, going to go to Systems. Under Systems, we are going to go to Pipe. On that pipe, we could now click on Edit to edit the pipe. We could edit the preferences of the pipe and make sure everything is set in place as we originally put it then we're just going to start drawing our pipe so we're going to draw a pipe profile we're going to diagonally slant it at 45 degrees to this point then drop it down down to this point then just draw it and drop it here so once we do this as you can see this pipe is visible as just lines why is that is because of you have not yet edited or set our graphics parameter properly so what we are going to do is we are going to go over to this tab here and we are going to set it at fine so now it's at fine where we can see our pipe properly so this our pipe is looking too thick i could just select all of them select the main body of the pipe select this main bodies of the pipe then i'm just going to change the diameter to 100 then I'm also going to select this. I'm going to select this elbow and I'm going to change the radius to 50. That is still the same thing as the diameter being 100. So we're just going to go to the 3D view and we're going to see the drainage we created. So as you can see, there's an issue now. 
our drainage system is just very far from where we want it to be so i'm just going to select it i will we'll just go to an appropriate view and we're just going to click on move and we're going to move this pipe and we're going to move it to a point where it's not interfering with any window or opening and we're going to place it here so and there you have it friends this is how to create a simple roof drainage in autodex revit so if this video was helpful make sure you hit the like button subscribe to our channel for more content like this it's not hard just click the subscribe button and you'll be experiencing a lot of good content coming into your feeds so without wasting any more time i'm going to wish you good luck and and thank you we'll see you in the next video